next instrument we're going to demonstrate is called the power level. So Kia, SDL30. This instrument operates very similar to the auto level. With the exception, we don't have to uh, take field notes. And the precision of this instrument will read to three decimal places of a foot. In other words, it'll read to one thousandth of a foot. With this instrument, we cannot wave the rod. That's another distinct difference. We must use a plummet. Um, get that out. So for the rod person, we're going to use this barcode side, and on the reverse side happens to be a metric rod, so that's in uh, meters, and uh, all the way down to millimeters. We're going to use the barcode rod, and with this instrument, by setting up the configuration, we can read the barcode in English, units, or metric, it doesn't make any difference. We can't wave this rod because when this instrument takes a shot, it measures the horizontal distance as well as the rod reading for uh, elevations. So if we're waving the rod, the instrument guy from a long distance can't tell where the rod is. So the rodman uses this uh, target bubble, holds it to the, against the edge of the rod, and he has to center the bubble to get the rod plumb. So that's, and he has to hold that position as steadily as he can. Now then, so this barcode rod is actually nothing more than a giant grocery store price tag barcode item. Only it reads uh, height. Now then, the instrument itself, again, it's just like the auto level, in a sense, has three leveling screws, mounts on the tripod, same rules for the tripod hold for all instruments, the feet need to be firmly planted in the ground, the tabletop needs to be as level as possible. The biggest difference with this instrument is it has a battery. And the battery was in this little door compartment. The battery has two pinholes in one end and no pinholes in the other. The pinhole end goes in first, push it in and close the door. Now, this instrument as well has an eyepiece for a crosshair, which you manipulate while you're looking through the instrument. It also on the very top has a target bubble so we have to level this the same as we do the auto level and get the bubble in the center of the circle. And on the side it has an objective focus knob and a tangent screw. Now using this instrument let's assume we're out working and the battery goes dead. If the barcode rod had an English rod on the opposite side instead of a metric, we just turn the rod around if we're working in English units. If we're working in metric units, instead of facing the barcode to the instrument, you simply turn the rod around and the instrument guy will again would look through there and focus the crosshair and focus the objective. And the rodman would hold the rod plumb with the rod level and he would simply read it. Or, if you have an English rod with you as well, 
battery goes dead and you've been using English units with the barcode, you simply pull out the English rod and you read this exactly as you would with the auto level. So this instrument can be used with or without a battery, but with a battery we have several functions. First thing we have is a power button. After we install the battery, we have power, it'll say Sakia, and it'll boot up. Now then, we want to go to a menu. And the first thing we want to do is put in our starting elevation. So we have a menu, escape button, an arrow down, a horizontal arrow, and then a bent arrow is the actual enter key. Then on the side of the instrument, once I'm locked onto my rod for a target, and I have the crosshair centered on the rod, and it's well focused, I hit the blue button, and it will then take a shot, give us a horizontal distance to about a tenth of a foot, and it reads vertically to three decimals, one thousandth of a foot. So the first thing we have to do is start a job. So once I hit enter for a job, I'm going to uh, select a job and it'll come up with a, a job which I can then alter and I'm going to uh, want to go to edit, enter. Then it says this current job says GP, GRP X 412. I can change the letters and make it an H RPX 412. I can make it whatever I want. I can change the letters and the numbers. Then I hit enter. And then I want to uh, go to uh, escape. And then I'm going to scroll over until elevation is illuminated. I hit enter. And now I need to put in my input elevation. Now this elevation is where I'm going to start from the stated elevation of the benchmark. So again, if we use this bottom step over here for elevation 100, I simply change these numbers to read 1, 0, 100, point, automatically into what we know as a backside mode. It says BS, it then has an RH and an HD, and it's in feet. Uh, also in the display gives you the battery, tells you the consumption of your battery as you're working. RH means rod height, that's the rod reading itself. HD is the horizontal distance from the instrument to the face of the rod. So I'm now ready to take my very first shot. So I swing around and I'll have to put the barcode rod over here on the bottom step. 